The Spokane Arena is singing a different tune tonight about allowing off-duty and undercover officers carry, uh, carry concealed weapons into sporting events and concerts. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. It is our top story. KXY4 Jeff Humphrey working for you right now. He's at the Veterans Memorial Arena where today the Public Facilities District voted to look at a change in its security policy. Jeff? And Nadine, the board of directors here at the arena did so at the request of Spokane's police chief and sheriff who think ideally their officers should be armed 24-7 to better protect the public. However, citizens, even people who have concealed pistol licenses, they have to leave their guns at home and cannot bring guns inside the arena. The showdown over guns inside the Spokane Arena actually got its start several years ago when big name performers started worrying about being targets up on the stage. Spokane's a tremendous destination for big name acts. We love all the major talent that comes here, but it's a requirement that we have metal detectors for all of the major acts. That's just a given these days. So when the metal detectors went up on October 1st, gun carrying cops started getting turned away from the door. Most recently, Spokane Sheriff. Went in like I've done for the last, I believe, six, seven years, um, and this time was stopped at the door and told that I couldn't enter carrying a weapon. Fortunately, the arena's board of directors was already warming up to the idea of letting cops in with their guns. All those in favor? Aye. And today agreed to let off-duty and undercover officers in once they have arena credentials. I do believe that the idea of having off-duty officers with their weapons in the building does increase the security um, perception in the building as well. And there are incidents around the country that have shown that to be true. So while the sheriff is satisfied, his deputy will get the access they need to protect the public. Citizens with concealed pistol licenses cannot. The sheriff says that arena policy violates state law. The public facilities district says it doesn't. The district operates as a proprietary facility and as such has the right to limit what people can bring into the building on behalf of the licensees that use our building. So Nadine, the arena is thinking that they can keep you from bringing a gun in here the same way they can ask you not to bring in a video camera and that policy is going to stay in effect until someone challenges it in court and so are you. Police and guns, yes. You and guns, no. Reporting at the arena, Jeff Humphrey, KXOI 4. Thank you, Jeff. Well, we have a lot more news ahead at 6, including some new information.